so in this video I'm just gonna quickly walk you through how to fix the Microsoft Teams add-in in Outlook so stick with me let's just go we double check the Outlook to see if indeed it's missing um, that's all that we head straight to Google and just type in uh, Microsoft support and recovery assistant and then you hit enter normally it shouldn't take too long for for the page to load up now head straight to the official website for Microsoft once we get onto the official website we uh, just quickly check the details uh, see if indeed is the current version we also quickly have a look at the systems requirement and also um, have a quick sneak peek at the install instructions it looks good so then we click download it should download in a few seconds depending on the speed of your network the file is zipped so um, it has to be unzipped we can see it in here so unzip the file again that shouldn't take too long should take a couple of seconds to be unzipped so as you could see we have the folder just next to it so you double click the folder itself you double click this folder and voila here we go double click Sarah setup or you could run as an administrator to install the application again it verifies all the application requirements it shouldn't take too long for that to conclude and voila here we go we hit the install button to install the package again it sh shouldn't take too long uh, the package is less than 50 meg so depending on your network speed it should take a few seconds to download the application and install it okay so now we proceed to launch in the application and again that should take a few seconds for the application to be launched fully At this point, I go grab a cup of hot chocolate just to quench my thirst. But yeah, it shouldn't take too long for, for the application to be launched fully. Okay. Looks like we're almost there. They say patience is a virtue so that's something I uh, strongly believe in patience is really a virtue so we could uh, just wait for a few more seconds 
here we go quickly have a glance at the privacy statement we hit agree and then we are presented with all these options now we're more interested in outlook so we select outlook we click next and we also um, concerned with the teams option not showing in teams add in in outlook so we click next and we uh, double check the options add-ins just to see if indeed you know the add-in has not been disabled or it's there you know so once we confirm everything looks good and we actually still missing it we could actually proceed with the install so we verify that indeed we still don't have that teams add in in outlook so we click next again it should take a few seconds for the application to be fully loaded It shouldn't take too long. This is where I go for some extra sugar in my hot chocolate. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Looks like that's all done. So we click perform. We click yes. And uh, it says we need to start Outlook. So we start Outlook because it shuts Outlook automatically. So you need to reopen Outlook. Again, that shouldn't take too long. Now we, um, this is where we actually head to setting up a meeting or an invite. Okay. To see if indeed the add-in has been reinitialized or if the problem has been fully resolved so let's just try sending out a meeting or an invite and see if indeed it works so you select invite meeting There you go. Looks like it's been fully restored now and it's working fine now. So like I said, this was just a quick tutorial to, um, to fix the missing Teams adding in Outlook. If you're interested in any of such quick tutorials, uh, please make sure you like share comment 